Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Unavowed. We're outside the Dragon Tree restaurant because we got uh, something here. This, a photocopy of a document from Kevin Huang's personal effects. Now, it talks about dragons on here. Jade dragon, pearl dragon, ruby dragon, sapphire dragon. Um, we've got a white dragon and a green dragon. So, my guess would be that the jade and pearl dragons are important here. And we've got that they prey a certain amount of times, eats, uh, they eat a certain amount of fish, and they water a certain amount of fields. So I'm, I'm guessing this has got something to do with the teeth that we know we can put on these things. Um, we can't unfortunately look at the note while we're here. So, um, so let me write this down. Uh, Jade preys five times eats six fish and waters two fields and then pearl uh, preys eight times eats five fish and waters one field so I don't I'm guessing maybe we like have to do oh look okay so it tells us what tooth is what number so I'm guessing then this is uh, this is the white dragon so this would be pearl rather than jade so I'm guessing I don't know if maybe the other two come in later, the ruby and the sapphire, because that would be red and blue and we, we don't have those. Um, so Pearl um, is 8, 5, 1, I'm guessing. Okay, it didn't seem to do anything, but maybe we have to do Jade as well, uh, which is 5, 6, 2, I believe. So 5... Six, two. Aha, yep. To have the door. That worked, nice. Okay, so maybe there's going to be like a, a ruby and a sapphire one inside, but we're unlocked now. Pretty cool entry system, actually. It appears Ooh. this was the scene of the murder. Yeah, looks like it. I know the cops in this district. They're no dummies. If there was anything to find, they'd have found it. Well, we'll see. Maybe there's some sort of we're magic. We're not here to find what they did not. Merely what they could not understand. So there's a dragon yeah, up here. Whatever it is, it's getting a bullet in its head. <laughs> it's one way of dealing with it, I suppose. Uh, its chalk outlines haven't been cleaned up since the police investigation. So they left it there. Teacup is dusty but otherwise clean. It looks like we can potentially interact with that as well. Um, empty teacup. Okay, I'm not sure why we've taken that. Uh, but we have. Tank is still functional, but the fish are long dead. Oh no, poor fish. Uh, the music's turned a bit eerie here as well, hasn't it? So, nothing else we can interact with here by the looks of things. However, we can go through this door. Uh, impressions count. Wrap all to the go boxes with pretty red bow. Oh, that's a nice little touch, isn't it? Uh, kitchen implements. Some sort of drain there. Oh, okay. The bin we can interact with. And it also looks like we could interact with the stove weirdly looks like the gas is shut off not surprised ah fine uh so that's a thing uh oh ribbon oh so that must be the ribbon they wrap the thing in we'll take that cool um is there anything else in here that we can can do so the, the gas is off, so this isn't going to work, but maybe we can turn the gas on at some point. Let's have a look in the bin. Found nothing. Okay, well, that's uh, simple enough. Anything up here? No. Let's go through. It seems the Huang family lived above their place of business. Ah, okay. So this is where they convenient. lived. Very convenient. Oh, okay. There's a massive book on the table. It seems to be a book of Asian myths and legends. It appears quite extensive. Extensive? It's friggin' huge! There is an index at the back if you desire to look up something specific. Okay. We can look ourselves up. I knew it couldn't be that easy. Ah, uh, well. Such simple solutions are welcome, but rarely offered. Hmm, okay. Nothing for now, but maybe we will have something at some point in the future, I'm guessing. Financial statement. Okay, Grant City Trust. That's an interesting crossover. 
Um, from the last case, Dragon Tree Restaurant, 23 Mott Street. Uh, payment, thank you, 45425. Restaurant supply, electrics and utilities. Smiling Fruit Grocer, that's the one that was on the receipt, right? $25? Is that. Hang on. No, twelve seventy three. So they don't match. Oh. So it's the same day. This is twelve seventy three. That says twenty five dollars. So I'm guessing perhaps there was another transaction on the same day. Huh. Amateur mistake. Interesting. That's uh. Strange. So maybe there's another receipt we don't have. I don't know. Let's let's go into here. Okay, this is a, a bedroom of some sort, isn't it? Uh, small set of drawers. Anything in there? Note. Kevin, before you begin, find that herb I asked you to buy from Doug. Go to the kitchen and make a tea from it. It will help you sleep and open your mind for what is to come. And remember, once the winners are announced, put her back. Sleep well, I love you, Dad. P.S. Make the bed in the morning so your mother doesn't kill us. Okay. So, some sort of tea was made, I'm guessing potentially in that cup we've got. And then there's that put her back thing again. Strange. Okay. Uh, what's going on here? Found I nothing. I do not know what you expected to find. I don't know. Something useful. There was the hand icon, so normally that means there's something useful. Um, okay. Balcony door. Oh, nice view out here. Look at all this. Uh, weirdly, we don't seem to be able to do anything. So I'm guessing maybe something might happen here later on. Okay, let's head out. It looked like there was another way to go out here. Uh, so, Mandana, you jins can really tell if someone is lying? Yes, nor can we lie ourselves. Must be rough sometimes. Hmm? Not especially. It forces most jins to become clever with words. Ah, true. Most, but not all? Being clever is overrated. Okay. Well, let's head up. Is so, that a greenhouse? Looks like it. It's pretty cool. Yes. It appears the Huangs grew the food that they served. Quite practical. It's a good idea. Fresh food. A uh, long way down. Ah, I see. That's the room we were in. Okay, interesting. So could you maybe jump down there? Some windows which are locked from the inside. So I'm guessing we can... Yeah, it looks like we can go in here. Oh, Look this is cool. Look at this place. It's like a mini jungle up here. Yeah, this is really nice. And is that a banana tree? In New York? How'd they swing that? And someone tied a ribbon around it. Okay. Interesting. Uh, what's this? Wing Lu, 2006. What's all this? Huh. I don't know. 2006, 2017, Kevin Huang. A list of names. Quite an extensive one. Yeah, the dates go all the way back to the 20s. And the most recent name is Kevin, preceded by... Wing? Is Wing the lady huh. from the... The suspicious chef lady has a secret. Yes. I'm so shocked. I detected no falsehood from her, but it seems she has more to tell. Hmm, okay. Can we... Did that do anything? Oh yeah, that did open. Why did we open the window? Can we... We, we don't seem to be able to, to close it. Okay, weird. I'm not sure why the, the ribbon's tied around there. I'm guessing that's going to be key. Um, Alright, well. There's nothing on there, no. So I'm guessing... We've looked around all we can in here. 
Maybe we now go back to Wing and ask why her name was on that list. It's really the only thing I can think of. There's nothing else here. No. Alright, well let's go back to Wing and ask her why her name's on that list. I mean, I'm guessing if, if Kevin was on there and Wing was on there, it's something to do with the lottery, seeing as they both won it, right? It's literally the only thing it could be. Uh, and we'll also have to ask if Kevin bought anything different from here that he didn't tell us about. Alright. Let's talk to Wing. What? We saw your name written down on the Dragon Tree roof. That's still there? Mm -hmm. The parchment is over a century old. Yes, it is still there. Huh. So, are you going to tell us why? Why what? Tell us why your name was written on that list. Does this have any connection to your lottery winnings? Ha! That's crazy. You're crazy. You think I won the lottery by writing my name down on an old piece of paper? That is what we are asking. Yeah. Seem very... <sighs> my husband. He died. He had debts. Debts I couldn't pay. Even Hyung offered to help. I didn't ask for it. He offered. Right. He offered what? No, no. It's done. It's over. I don't want to talk about it. If you want to deal with the Bai Jiao Pui, that's up to you. Uh... What? I said, I don't want to talk about it. These guys bothering you? Yes, they're bothering me. It's your fault they're bothering me. <laughs> right. Forget it. Idiot. Right, so... You want to eat something? I'm here. So I'm guessing that the name she gave is also on that list. So perhaps the per the previous person to win the lottery on that list did something to help her win the lottery. And then I'm guessing she might have helped Kevin to win the lottery. There's got to be some sort of like hey, weird thing happening, right? Uh, have you ever heard of the Bao Ji Gui? The banana ghost? <gasps> some kind of old legend, right? Banana ghost. Kevin used to be into all that stuff. Not me though. Sorry. So, could explain the banana tree. Take a look at this receipt and, re and the credit card statement. Yeah, Kevin bought some stuff and he used his dad's card. What am I looking at here? Why doesn't the amount have money that was charged? It's different. Oh, must be some kind of error. Mm. Mr. Huang will have to call the credit card company and get them to sort it out. Jesus, what am I saying? Sorry, was there a point to this? Uh, did you sell Kevin some kind of herb? What? No. Not that I know of. We found a note written by the Elder Huang. It says Kevin purchased an herb from you. Yeah. Well, he's wrong. You are lying, Doug. What? No, I'm not. Yes, you are. Why is he hiding? Now, look. Don't argue. Just level with us. Whatever. If you think I'm lying, prove it. Uh, tell the truth. You sold Kevin in a herb, but didn't mark it on his receipt. But you still charged his card for it. Real sloppy guy. Tell us the truth this time. Your skill at falsehood is lacking. None of you are cops, are you? No. You gotta say if you are, that's the rule, right? Yeah, that's the rule. None of us are cops. Not anymore. Okay, fine. Yes, you got me. Kevin bought some hibiscus rue from me. Hibiscus rue. I am familiar with it. Where is it? It's not on any of the shelves. It's not exactly legal. Ah, ah, you're on a black market. I see. No, Jesus, no, it, it's harmless. Really, it just puts you to sleep. Harmless? That's why it's illegal to sell it. Hey, you wanted honesty, you got it. Do you want some? 20 bucks for two doses. Uh, okay. Sure, that'll be 20 bucks. Fine. Just dissolve half of it in hot water, it'll knock you straight out. Okay, see you around. Back at you. So, I'm guessing we have to put this into here. If you want to make tea, it is more effective to use hot water. Yeah, so we can maybe use the hot water, but the gas is off at the restaurant, so maybe we've got to find a way to restore that. Uh, let's see if Wing will say anything about this, um, this herb. What? Uh... I said, I don't want to talk about it. Okay, she won't... Stop, I don't want to talk about while people are eating. Okay, she won't talk you about it. You want to eat something? I'm here. 
Okay, well, let's go back to the restaurant, I guess. Can we find a way to turn the gas on? Can we like do this? Don't know what you expected to happen. Okay, so looks like the gas is shut off. Not surprised. All right, so the gas doesn't work. So we're gonna have to find some other way to heat this up. Maybe if Eli was here, he'd be able to use fire magic to do it. I don't know. All right, well, um, I tell you what, guys, we are out of time. So we will try and figure out how to heat this up in the next one. But it's all coming together, isn't it? It's all very interesting. So as always, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne Nate, Terminally Nerdy, Paul from the Phantom Fellows, Lyle, Barry Aldridge, Hobo, Numinous, Coomadin, and Paul Leone. And I'll see you next time.